Hi and welcome to this final initial video on Kerafor's Simple Fitness. I'm Neil Greentree and I'm Matt Della. and this time we are entering the minefield that is nutrition. So Matt, uh, what is, let's keep this simple, what is probably the biggest and simplest thing someone can do to improve their nutrition? So the first thing everyone thinks when they think getting healthier, they think diet straight away. Probably the biggest change they can make straight away, instantly, you can do it right now, is drink, try and drink more water. Your body's 70 plus percent water. Yeah. Making it dehydrated, it's not going to function as well as it should be. Totally. You were telling me earlier, just kind of 2% uh, 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 dehydration and, and your performance will go down massively. In fact, more. it can go up to 20% decrease in performance, which can make, for you, for like windsurfing, it can make a massive lull in your performance. And if you're just coming to the gym, you could have a bad day and it could be purely because you're dehydrated. Okay, so that's the first thing you can do, and that is dead easy to do. Uh, again, don't worry about the numbers, how many litres you should drink a day. Just carry a bottle of water in the car or in the office, and when you're thirsty, take a swig of that rather than a cup of, uh, cup of tea. You'll be amazed how much more energy you will have. So, now we're going to move on to the next uh, aspect, and I'm going to let you cover this because it, it can be a proper minefield. Right, so the first thing most people would do and they think, oh, I need to go on a diet, they'll drop all their calories. Your body needs a lot of calories to help it run and function properly. The best thing you can realistically do with your food is get rid of all the processed junk that you eat. Yep. Help, the more natural the food is, it's going to be so much easier for your body to digest it, okay. function through it, and use it for energy than having to churn through all this processed rubbish that is, unfortunately, most of today's diets. So if we want to cut out processed food, uh, what you're essentially saying is we go to the veg counter at the supermarket and we buy fresh veg, uh, fruit, we want to buy fresh fruit rather than tinned fruit, I guess, and, and the fruits which are maybe in yogurt or anything like that, just, just try and buy strawberries, fresh strawberries and, and, and eat those. Okay, can we do anything with, the, with meats or anything? Meats, just organic meat and stuff like that is much better for you because you're not having the flush out all the toxins and stuff like that, but just making sure it's from the best source possible is yeah. the most positive change you can make. Okay, uh, one thing I'd also notice when, uh, uh, when I was uh, training, the water that you drink, if you drink enough of it, will also help flush out those toxins far faster uh, uh, and therefore giving you more energy. That's all part of the process of what that simple act of drinking water can do. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, uh, now we were talking about kind of fats and proteins and carbohydrates. We don't want to go too deeply in. We're going to do a separate video, I yeah. think, on that. But can you just roughly cover it? Protein is probably the easiest thing that everyone needs in their diet, regardless of what your goal is. This is the thing that's going to help you build your cells. This is what's going to help your body recover after training and stop it aching, along with other things, but stop it aching as much the next day. You've then got your fats, which are really important to helping regulate your hormones and stuff like that. And then you've got carbohydrate, mainly vegetables is the, the best source of carbohydrate, along with other stuff as well. But that's where you're going to get the majority of all your nutrients from as well. So really, in essence, from what I can kind of gather what you're saying, is just have a, uh, maybe the day before uh, your, your workout, uh, have uh, fresh veg and fresh fruit and drink water, and you will find on the day of the workout, you will have that much more energy yeah. and your body will cope. If you fueled your body correctly the day before and the day of working out, you're going to find your workout much easier and you're going to be able to perform a lot better than if you'd not had very much to eat yesterday or starved yourself the day before or hadn't eaten anything that day or stuff like that. Okay, uh, and one last thing that, uh, that, that, that I picked up, uh, and uh, the drinks makers won't appreciate me saying this, but uh, I've generally found that if you're working out less than two hours, people buy all the power drinks and all the rest of it, you don't actually need them. Water is sufficient unless you're going over two hours. But I find under two hours, I, just, I don't need that. Water is sufficient to keep your body hydrated is the main thing. Exactly, unless you're running for a performance event, there's no point if you're just coming to do weights buying a Lucas Aid or something like that to power yourself through workout because your body doesn't need it. And also, if you're trying to burn fat, it's going to stop you burning fat, which is another little minefield in itself. But it's just going to stop you being able to function everything your body as well as it could be. Okay, I think that is a really good basic insight into nutrition. We are going to cover the subcategories of fats and proteins, aren't we, in a separate video, but that should give you the info. If you need any more information, just ask the guys here, that's what they're there for. That's the series on Simple Fitness. Have you enjoyed it? Yep. It's been good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, been rough. So, at the end of the day, I hope you learned something. I hope you've picked something up out of it. And the next thing is, is get off your backside, 
and start being active and start eating those right things and you will find it all just starts to happen. So all those crash diets, bin them. Just make those changes that Matt and I suggest and uh, you'll be there. Any questions, come into Car 4. We've enjoyed watching. Thank you.